Welcome back to SA Live. Well, instead of having the kids just sit around the house during spring break, how about a camp? They can learn something that is extremely important for crafts and just getting through every day in life. And Jen Nicolella from Abby's Attic is here, our dear friend. Thank and you. you have got a sewing camp, right? We do. We have sewing camps for ages 8 to 16 next week. Um, we have lots of easy beginner projects. They can pop in for half a day or a full day or all week, whatever whatever the parents need and want. Um, we provide snacks, the whole bit. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, And just learning these basic skills, and we were talking about how important it is even sewing a button on. Yeah. My son called me from college, and you said you had a friend that used to charge five bucks to sew yeah. a button on, right? <laughs> so why not learn it? Easy peasy. I mean, make, make easy money on the side. Why not? Looking at all of these things, and you said these are some of the beginner projects that these they do? These are all beginner projects. Okay, what is this? Guess. So that is a little wrist saver for mm -hmm. your keyboard. So when the kids are on their Zoom calls all day for school, they can just rest their wrists on there while they're typing, um, use it as a brace for when they're using their mouse. It mm -hmm. just kind of keeps a little bit of comfort on the wrist. Okay, and you've got all the instructions. So you've got this all set up here, and the lines are drawn, right? Lines are drawn. So I can so just start going to town here. Yes, sir. Oh, sorry, you got to turn it on. I oh. forgot. <laughs> Where's the switch? Oh, there, there it is. is okay. Sorry. That always helps to hit the on button. So Mike is just making a rectangular version of this little guy. We're going to make him in camp next week. But you can do this with just a piece of fabric that's about um, 12 inches by maybe 18 inches, mm -hmm. uh, maybe the width of your keyboard. And um, it's just really easy to do. So at that point, sorry, yes. Okay, no, I was going to say, all right, using a sewing machine, how young can kids be to use sewing machines? Well, it depends. We start them at eight, but we've had them as young as um, six and a half or seven. Oh, wow. But we recommend starting them at eight because they have the attention span, the fine motor skills, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. And that's the big thing that you always advocate, not only just using a sewing machine, but actually needle and thread. Yes. Because so many times with kids using phones, they don't get that little intricate right. you know, eye-hand coordination. Right. And it's using really digits. important. Those, those little muscles get atrophied when they don't use them. So it, fine motor skills work is good for um, handwriting for future you know for mm -hmm. like two or three year olds they need to work those fine motor skills so they can strengthen this muscle right here it helps for writing okay some of the other fantastic uh, things that you're gonna make this and I was so amazed at this great little pouch. It could be an iPad holder, make it bigger, mm -hmm. a laptop holder. And you said this is one of the beginner projects that, that they That is a beginner project. We're going to do that one as an afternoon mommy and me, or you can just pop in as a solo learner, mm -hmm. um, ages eight to adult. And yeah, it's a beginner project. It's all rectangles and all straight seams, but you get some cool skills in there, like um, learning how to sew a zipper. You're going to work with some purse hardware, learn how to do boxed corners, turn tubes, the whole bit. And think of the money you can save from putting alterations <laughs> down the road in life, or like I said, just sewing on a button or sure. two. Uh, you're celebrating a birthday as well. We are five five years this month. Yay! Abby's attic is five years old. Yay! And you've been sewing for 30 years. Yeah. So she started in elementary school, I did. obviously. I started in the womb. <laughs> and <laughs> you got quite an honor too, right? Yeah, I got invited to be a presenter for an international sewing summit. So I'm really excited about that. It's going to happen in May. So we'll we'll put more information out as we get closer to the date. All right, if folks want to sign up for uh, spring break camp obviously it's just it's next week but yes. still still room to we still have room yep we still have room so they can go to abby's attic sewing school.com they can give us a call and we'll happily register people online or on the phone and way. other than spring break you also i mean just have classes that all you can the teach. time yeah that's all we do we specialize in teaching sewing so and i can attest to the fact that if you have a sewing machine and it needs a tune-up <laughs> she can do it she did mine and it runs like a charm it right does. now it does yep i have to learn more sewing techniques Techniques, but at least my machine works fantastic. So, all right, well, if you'd like more information on signing up for Abby's Attic uh, Spring Break Camp, and like you said, it could be a couple of hours, half a day, all week, all week. long, mm -hmm. whatever fits into your schedule, Correct. just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Always great seeing you, Jen. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thanks for having me.